Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be having a look at how you can install custom vehicles into add-on or custom slots using the modeling DLC Pack 5. So this video is part of a playlist called Learn GTA 5 Modeling Albos where if you haven't checked that out, a link is going to be in the top right right now on a card. You should definitely check that out for the previous tutorials as well. And for this tutorial, you need to have followed the modding DLC pack 5 base installation tutorial. And a link for that can be found down below in the description and can also be found on a card in the top right as well. So make sure you follow that. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So today we are going to be installing the 2015 Potato Charger ELS. However, this tutorial also works for non-ELS vehicles, so during the video I might say only do this if you're installing an ELS vehicle, or only do this if you're installing a non-ELS vehicle. So let's download the file. We are going to be downloading this ELS vehicle here today. I'm going to download it from the LSPDFR site. And we're going to be saving it into our download slash GTA 5 mod slash vehicles folder, just like before. And once it's downloaded, you are going to be opening the archive. And we're going to be extracting that using, in this case, WinRAR or whatever your program is. And once that is all extracted, we're going to be going into the folder. 2015 Dodge Charge ELS, and there we go. So as we can see, we have the installation guide, which we can really quickly open. Um, obviously, as I've also said in the previous video, when we were installing the modding DLC Pack 5 base, uh, this path is not to be used. We are going to be using the modding DLC Pack 5 uh, paths to install our vehicles. So to do that, I'm going to quickly open the modding DLC Pack 5 uh, readme.pdf once again. And we are going to be going down into the how to add new add-on vehicles that are not in the game by default, e.g. Police 20, because today we are going to be installing the vehicle inside an add-on police slot. So, we are going to be following these uh, instructions. The first thing we are going to have to do is add the vehicle models. Drag and drop the vehicle models into OpenIV in the following location. So to do that, we are going to be going into the vehicle download once again, and we are going to go into the model folder. And as you can see, all the model files are contained in this folder. Now what we need to do, because we are going to be installing these models not in the slot it was intended for, which is Police 2, but we are going to be installing it in an add-on slot or a custom slot. Uh, we are going to be renaming the files, so we are going to be replacing the 2 with a 6. So you might know uh, the default police models in the game are Police, Police 2, Police 3, Police 4. So I'm just going to rename these to Police 6. We are going to be installing these models in a custom slot called Police 6. So make sure you only replace the two. As you see, it still needs to have the underscore high over there. Only replace the two number to six. And then you're good to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be opening OpenIV. And we're going to select Grand Theft Auto 5 for Windows. And once OpenIV is loaded, we are going to be going over into our favorites menu once again. Now we're going to go to morning slash dlc.rpf. So if you don't remember this, the favorite is just a shortcut for GTA 5 mods update x64 DLC packs modding DLC.rpf. And once we are in this folder, we are going to be going over to x64, levels, GTA 5, vehicles, vehicles.rpf. And as you can see here, here is the uh, vehicle we added in the previous tutorial, which was just the default slot. This time, however, we're going to be adding it as an add-on slot. So what we're going to be doing is clicking edit mode, so going to click yes. And what you can then do is you can uh, drag and drop these files into here. So I've just changed my windows around a little bit. So I'm going to select all of these files hold by holding the control key on the keyboard and clicking the files. And I'm going to simply drag them over into OpenIV just like that, and they will appear there. Now, for whatever reason, you're not able to drag the files over. You can also just click the plus button up over here. And once you've clicked that, you can go over into the vehicle download, go over to the model files and select all of these model files by holding the control key on your keyboard and then click open. And they will also be imported uh, into OpenIV. So now that we've done that, we have pretty much completed the first step of the uh, readme of modding DLC pack five successfully. Now the second step is going to be the car variations on meta lines. So you might remember last time we just installed it in police three, which is what the download came as, so it worked fine. However, this time we are actually changing the slot we are installing the vehicle into, so we actually do need to now install the car variations.meta. As for the handling.meta, we don't actually need to replace those lines because it can just use the default ones. So most unfortunately, our 
vehicle download does not contain any car variations dot meta lines for if we wanted to install this vehicle in a different slot. So for cases like this, the modding DLC pack five comes with some meta file templates. So if we go over to the modding DLC pack five download and go over to the meta templates file, we will find the template for car variations dot meta. Now, very importantly here is that we open this file, but do not actually edit it. So what we are going to do is we are going to be opening this uh, template car meta file and as you can see here we have a template car meta item which will work for pretty much any emergency vehicle now obviously if your vehicle download does come with a custom car meta entry make sure to use that one and not my template but in this case the vehicle download does not come with a custom car meta entry for the vehicle uh, so we are quite simply going to use the template from the modding dlc pack 5 download so what we're going to do is we're going to copy it very precisely. Make sure you copy it exactly like I do. Otherwise your game will crash. Start just before the opening brackets of the item tag and then go down all the way and stop just after the closing bracket of the slash item tag, just like I've done now. So make sure you select that and then copy this. You can right click and then select copy or you can press Ctrl C on your keyboard. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into open IV we are going to go back to our modding slash dlc.rpf shortcut, which is this path. And then we are going to go over to common data. And as you can see here, we have the carvariance.meta file. So we're going to select edit mode. And we are going to right click the carvariance.meta file. Going to hit edit. As you can see, currently this is all empty. So as it says at the custom entries here, between variation data and slash variation data. So I'm going to add our custom entries between these two tags. It's going to click over below the comment line. And what you can then quite simply do is right click and select paste or press Ctrl V on the keyboard. As you can see, our template uh, car meta entry has just been copied over into here. Now something that is very important, do not forget this, is to change the model name to whatever slot you are currently installing it in. So remember here that we renamed our vehicle files from police 2 to police 6. So we are currently installing it in the police 6 slot. So we need to make sure that our carrange.mentra entry model name is now for police 6. And once you've done that, you're going to hit the save button and the carrange.mentra will have been installed successfully for the add-on police slot. So now we have installed the car variations.meta entry successfully for our add-on police vehicle. So now we can go back into the readme. And you can see here that it also in step two says handling.meta lines. Now the handling.meta lines only need to be installed if your vehicle actually includes custom ones. So in this case, our vehicle download does not contain any custom handling.meta uh, lines. So we don't have to worry about installing custom handling.meta lines into our modding DLC pack five. And this is obviously different from the car variations.meta where we had to install a template even though it wasn't included in the download. So the handling.meta you only need to do if the download includes a custom handling.meta uh, line for your vehicle. So the next step is going to be the vehicles.meta lines uh, which we are now going to be installing. And as you can see, pretty much worst case scenario, uh, this vehicle download also doesn't include any vehicles.meta lines for itself. So we are going to be having to take those from the default template as well. So we are going to be going back over into the modding DLC pack five meta templates folder. And what we are then going to do, is we're going to open the template vehicles.meta file. And this is the default vehicles.meta that is included with GTA five normally. Now, an important thing here is to remember what the original name of your vehicle was. So remember, we renamed our vehicle model from Police 2 to Police 6. So originally it was called Police 2. So that is what we are going to be looking for inside the vehicles.meta file. We are going to go over to search, We're going to look for find. You can also press Ctrl F on the keyboard. And then what we are going to be doing is we are going to look for Police 2. And then what I like doing is putting one of these so it finds the right one immediately. As you can see, um, here is the vehicles.meta item for the model name police2. So this is the one we are going to be copying and we are going to be using to create one for police6. So now that we've actually found the vehicles.meta entry for the vehicle that our custom vehicle was originally intended to replace, which was police2, remember we renamed it from police2 to police6, uh, we are simply going to copy this 
uh, vehicles not meant to entry over. So what we're going to do again, make sure to do this with very great care. Start just before the opening bracket of the item tag. And go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down until you find the closing item tag followed by a new model name, which is here. See, we've got the closing item tag and then underneath that we've got a new one for a new model. So copy it right up to here, just after the closing bracket of the slash item tag. And then what you're going to do is right click and select copy or press Ctrl C on the keyboard. And then we are going to be going back into open IV. You're going to go over into the favorites menu and then select morning slash dlc.rpf for the shortcut to this path. I'm going to go over to common, data, levels, GTA 5, and then we are going to see the vehicles.meta. We are going to be activating edit mode. Right click vehicles.meta and select edit. And then as you can see, currently our vehicles.meta is empty. So uh, as you can see, add custom entries here between init datas and slash init datas, which is here. So we are going to be adding our custom entry right up over here. So you're going to quite simply right click and select paste or press Ctrl V on the keyboard. As you can see, this is now going to be copied over into the modern DLC pack five vehicle meta file. So we're going to go back to the top of our entry, which is all the way up over here. And now we need to slightly adjust this entry so it works for the police six slot. So what we are going to do is we are going to change the model name to police six, or whatever slot you're installing in for us as police six. The same happens for the TXD name. You're going to change from police two in this case to police six also in this case. Now, very importantly, the handling ID, you do not change. So you leave that as police two. So it will use the police two handling lines. And then for the game name, you also change that to whatever slot you're installing it in, which is in my case, police six. Once you've done that, there is another very important thing you need to do. You need to scroll down a little bit and look for audio name hash, which is right up over there. As you can see right now, that is going to be empty. And what you want to do is change the audio name hash to police. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this away. I'm going to have opening brackets, audio name, hash, closing brackets, then after the closing brackets in capital letters, you're going to type police. And then you're going to type opening brackets and then slash audio name hash, closing brackets. So make sure to match up the capitals properly. This is very important. If you make a mistake here, you're going to be crashing your game. So make sure to copy this exactly. So this means that the vehicle will use the sirens that the police vehicle in the normal game uses as well. If you want to change this to something like the FBI siren, then you can use the FBI audio name hash and the police six vehicle will then use the FBI siren. However, for me, I would prefer mine to just be the police siren. So I'm going to keep this as police just like that. And once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. A quick way to check if you've done it right is to see if the yellow line that starts at the item tag goes all the way down to the slash item tag and stops right there. As you can see for me, it does. So that means that the XML format is in this case valid. So once you've done all that, you can click save and the vehicles that meta file will have been changed for this vehicle successfully. So as we can see now, we have now completed the modding DLC pack five steps for adding new add on vehicles into our game. So something that we still need to do because this is an ELS vehicle is install the ELS config file for the vehicle. And obviously if you're installing a non ELS vehicle, you won't have to do this little bit. So uh, in this case, the ELS VCF file is contained in the downloads extra files. And you can see it's called police2.xml. What we are going to be doing is renaming this again to police six because we have installed the vehicle in police six. So rename it to police six. Uh, and then we are going to be copying this file copy and then go over to our GTA 5 folder. And once you're in your GTA 5 folder, go into ELS and then pack default and then right click and select paste or press Ctrl V on the keyboard. As you can see, police 6.xml is now successfully installed uh, into our ELS configurations. So once that is all done, you can quite simply close open IV. And what we are going to do is we are quickly going to give our vehicle a try and spawn it in the game and see how it looks. 
So obviously, again, the same applies as last time. If you crash during your loading screen, that is because you have not installed either the handling.meta, carburetors.meta or vehicles.meta correctly, or you've made a mistake in your XML format. So in that case, make sure you followed the steps exactly as I did and copied the item tags properly. Obviously, if ours didn't crash, so we have done it all properly and we are good to go and spawn our vehicle. So if you need to spawn an add-on vehicle, obviously you need to remember the slot that you install in. For me, that is Police 6. So then you can either use your trainer or I can use the Rage Blunder console to spawn that vehicle using the spawn and warp command. And then Police 6, as you can see, it won't appear up in the autocomplete suggestions because it's not a default vehicle. And as you can see, our vehicle is spawning without any problems. Um, we can activate the ELS control panel use a J key to activate ELS lights, which is uh, for this vehicle one. You can see that is all working very nicely. You can also hear that it is now using my police siren. And we can change it to secondary, third, fourth, fifth. We can change it to everything. So the vehicle is pretty much working perfectly. And obviously if you're not using an ELS vehicle, you can simply hit E uh, to activate your siren and it should look perfect. Now the next little part only applies if you are installing a non-ELS vehicle. Oh, wow. So if you are installing a non-ELS vehicles, um, sometimes if you install the template carvations.meta, uh, the lights will look a little bit strange. What you can then do is go over into the meta templates folder and then open the car variations siren setting ids.txt file. And in some cases, then you might have to change the siren settings value in the car variations.meta entry. As you can see here, these are all the settings that the default car calls use. If you use a different car calls modification that you installed, uh, you will need to consult the documentation of that car calls to find out which siren settings values are appropriate for your vehicle. So you can quite simply change the siren settings for your uh, car variations meta entry by right clicking car variations, going into edit, and then look for your entry. In this case, it is going to be police six, and then scroll down to the bottom of that entry. As you can see, you can change your siren settings value up over here. So for example, if you uh, are looking for rotator lights uh, and you're using the default car calls, try changing that to 13. So what you can then simply do is change this to 13 and hit the save button. Obviously, I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to keep it at one, um, but that is what you can do and play around with. And with that being said, everybody, this pretty much concludes how to install add-on vehicles into your game. So I do hope this helped you out. If it did, make sure to hit the like button on the video. And if you'd like to stay up to date with future content and tutorials, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button for the channel as well. It would really help me out a lot. And if you'd like to see further tutorials, check out the Learn GTA 5 Morning Albers Way playlist. A uh, card for that should be up on the screen right now. And with that being said, everybody, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.